Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how the steroid hormone estrogen can affect gene expression by acting as a transcription factor. In a previous video, we saw that humans have around 20,000 protein encoding genes. And every human cell contains all of these genes, apart from gametes and red blood cells. Now, when a gene is transcribed, the mRNA produced can then be translated to produce a polypeptide or protein. So, in theory, human cells can produce a huge number of different proteins. However, most cells only produce a very small proportion of the total possible number of different proteins. For example, insulin is only produced in the beta cells of the pancreas, and antibodies are only produced by B cells in the immune system. So, this means that genes are regulated. In other words, genes are only transcribed when the protein encoded by that gene is required by the cell. So in this video, we're going to look at how transcription of genes can be activated. And the example that we're going to look at is the estrogen receptor. Now, estrogen is an example of a steroid hormone, and steroid hormones play a number of roles in humans. For example, development of sexual characteristics during puberty. All steroid hormones trigger gene transcription in a similar way. However, each steroid hormone causes specific genes to be transcribed in target cells. Now, the estrogen receptor is an example of a transcription factor. So let's start by looking at how transcription factors work. I'm showing you here DNA in the nucleus of a cell. In the nucleus, we have the enzyme RNA polymerase. And in the cytoplasm, we have a transcription factor. And transcription factors are proteins. Now, in humans, we have hundreds of different transcription factors. The transcription factor I'm showing you here is activated by a signal, such as a hormone. And these transcription factors are initially found in the cytoplasm. Now, a key idea you need to understand is that each transcription factor binds to a specific base sequence on the DNA. These base sequences are normally found upstream of the target genes, in a region called the promoter. Now, when the correct signal is received by the cell, the transcription factor moves to the nucleus and the transcription factor now attaches to its binding sequence on the DNA. Now, I'm only showing this for one gene, but in fact many genes may be regulated by the same transcription factor. Once the transcription factor binds to the DNA, the enzyme RNA polymerase can then transcribe the gene. This produces messenger RNA. The messenger RNA is then translated by ribosomes in the cytoplasm, producing the polypeptide. Now, if the protein or polypeptide is not required by the cell, then the transcription factor detaches from the DNA, and now transcription stops. OK, so let's look at how the estrogen receptor acts as a transcription factor. I'm showing you here a simplified diagram of the estrogen receptor. The estrogen receptor is a protein with two binding sites. First, we have a binding site for estrogen. We also have a binding site for the DNA base sequence recognized by the estrogen receptor. In the absence of estrogen, the DNA binding site is inactive. In other words, the molecule cannot bind to DNA. OK, here's the estrogen receptor when estrogen is bound. Notice that the estrogen fits perfectly into the estrogen binding site. That's because the shape of the estrogen binding site is complementary to the shape of estrogen. Now, when estrogen binds to the estrogen binding site, this causes the tertiary structure of the protein to change. And the effect of this is that the shape of the DNA binding site changes to an active form. So now the DNA binding site can bind to its specific base sequence on the DNA. So going back to our diagram of the cell, we can see how estrogen affects gene transcription. Like all steroid hormones, Oestrogen is a lipid-soluble molecule, so oestrogen can diffuse through the phospholipid part of the cell membrane. In the cytoplasm, the oestrogen binds to the complementary binding site on the oestrogen receptor. This changes the shape of the DNA binding site into the active form. So now the DNA binding site attaches to the specific base sequence on the DNA, and this activates transcription of the gene. Remember that a number of genes will be activated by the oestrogen receptor. All of these genes will contain the same upstream base sequence recognized by the DNA binding site of the estrogen receptor. Finally, the messenger RNA which is produced is then translated to the polypeptide or the protein 
by ribosomes in the cytoplasm. So as you can see, by activating gene transcription, the estrogen receptor is acting as a transcription factor. Now, in the absence of estrogen, the estrogen receptor no longer attaches to the DNA. And this means that the estrogen responsive genes are no longer transcribed. OK, so hopefully now you can describe how estrogen can affect gene expression by acting as a transcription factor.